They're outraged and fed up. Over a legal case in which five men were acquitted of gang rape, a group who called themselves La Manada, the Wolf Pack. The sexual assault took place in 2016 at the Pamplona Bull Run. An 18 year old woman says she was forced into an alley and sexually assaulted by five men who filmed the act on their cell phones. The men's attorneys say the videos reveal the victim was passive and submissive, evidence they say that she consented. A la pena de Años de the case has consumed public attention in Spain since then, and last week's court decision not to charge the men with rape was too much for thousands of women all over Spain. The Wolfpack case has put a spotlight on Spain's criminal code and its definition of rape. In many European countries, rape is defined by an absence of consent. But under Spanish law, rape must involve violence or intimidation. Judges handling the case ruled the victim did not experience either. Instead of the 22-year sentence prosecutors were seeking for gang rape, the five men were sentenced to nine-year terms for continuous sexual abuse. Spain's government and opposition parties say it's time to change the laws. Hay que hacerla, hay que contar con todos los grupos políticos y así será, se trataría de una modificación de una ley orgánica. Pero creo que esa iniciativa del ministro de Justicia muestra bien a las claras esa voluntad de luchar firmemente contra ello. The case has also reignited criticism of the Bull Festival's history of sexual assault, as well as Spain's problem with an ingrained macho culture, gender-based violence and domestic abuse that kills dozens of women every year. It's also led to an online Me Too movement of Spanish women sharing their own stories of sexual abuse. So is this all positive momentum towards much needed change or, as critics argue, does the Wolfpack case deserve more scrutiny? Sandra Gatman, The Newsmakers.